Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV, and also welcome back to my Linux Crash Course series. And you know what? This series is now the longest running tutorial series in the history of the channel, and thank you guys so much for checking it out and contributing to its success. And in today's episode, we're going to check out the file command. Now, this is going to be one of the shorter episodes in this series because the file command is simple. There's not all that much to it, but it is very useful. You could use it to determine a file type of a file, so it definitely comes in handy. And as usual, what I'm going to do is teach you the file command and give you some examples. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So let's dive in. So let's see some examples of the file command. And like I mentioned during the intro, it's a simple command, so you'll learn it fairly quickly. And to start us off, I have some example files that I've created inside my current working directory. You'll see that I have the example files directory. And inside there, I have these files that I'll use for the examples. And randomly, what I'm going to do is choose the third file on this list, which is actually the logo for my website. Anyway, to use the file command, what I'll do is type file, and then the file name that I'm curious about. And again, I'm going to choose that file right there. As you can see, the file command told us what kind of file it is. In this case, it shows that it's a ping image, which is correct. That's exactly what it is. But given the fact that the file name has a PNG extension, we kind of already knew that. But when it comes to Linux, adding a file extension to a file name isn't required. It's often added as a convenience. And for that reason, you may not always have a file extension on a file name. For example, we have the sysadmin cheat sheet file within my directory listing, and it has no extension at all. And this is where the file command can really come in handy. From looking at the name alone, we have no idea what type of file this is. So let's use the file command against it and find out. And from the output, you can see that apparently it's a PDF file. So whenever you run into a file that has no extension, you can use the file command against it to determine what it is. And that's a very common use case. Anyway, earlier I mentioned that often people do include an extension in a file name to help us know what kind of file it is. But the thing is, we're all human and sometimes we make mistakes. And due to that, sometimes you might have a file extension that's not correct. And for an example of that, what I'm going to do is inspect the second file. That's actually the logo that I use for thumbnails within this series. So as you can guess, I'm going to use the file command and then I'll type the file name. And in this case, the file name implies that it's a JPEG file, but is it? Let's find out. And well, it's not a JPEG image. It's actually a ping image. And with the file command, we could verify that the extension given to a file matches the actual file type. Sorry to interrupt my own video, but I wanted to let you guys know about something really cool that I created recently. I put together the Ultimate Linux Commands Cheat Sheet, a downloadable PDF that covers all the essential Linux commands, as well as some great bash aliases, hardening tips, and other nuggets that I've picked up over the years. For just a $3 donation, it's yours, and it makes a great reference for those of you that work with a terminal. And while you're there, check out my other products at the shop as well. There's all kinds of Linux themed products there. For example, t-shirts like the dark side of the terminal. There's a classic Debian swirl tee and even a shirt to warn those around you that you're obsessed with Linux. Every purchase helps keep this channel going. There's a lot of cost involved with editing all the content for you guys. And it also helps justify the amount of caffeine that I go through while I edit these videos. As always, thank you guys so much for supporting Linux learning. I really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. Another cool trick with the file command is to not give it a file name at all and instead have it reveal the file type of every file in a working directory. So as you can guess, we're going to use the file command and then we're going to include a star instead of a file name. So I'll press enter and let's see what happens. And as you can see, it gives me a nice list that tells me the file type of every file in this directory. Now let's see another example. Again, here's a list of files on my current working directory. And what I want to show you right now is what happens when you inspect a symbolic link with the file command. So let's see what happens. What I'll do is type file and then the name of the link. In my case, it's my hyphen link. You see that right here. So let's see what happens when I use the file command against it. 
In this case, it's telling me exactly what the link points to. Randomly, I created a link to the Etsy OS release file, which is a file that includes information about your Linux distribution. But the takeaway here is if you have a symbolic link, then the file command can tell you what it points to. Now as an aside, if you've never seen the contents of the Etsy OS release file, it is a file that you should know about. What I'll do is show you the contents of that file. And as you can see, it tells me more information about the distribution that I'm running. In this case, I'm running Debian 13, codenamed Trixie, as you can see. So if you didn't already know about the Etsy OS release file, well, now you do. But anyway, back to the file command. As you can see, it's very intelligent. It gives you information about what type of file happens to be, and in the case of symlinks, it even goes as far as to describe what the destination file is. And to be fair, if I type ls-l to get a long listing, it actually shows us in the output right there, but depending on how your shell is configured, it may or may not show it. So, by using the file command, it's able to show us what the file links to, which is pretty useful. Now so far, I haven't picked on the first file yet. In this case, I created a backup copy of my bashrc file and saved it in my working directory. And as you can see, it's just a text file. Nothing too exciting, but you will run into text files often. And you know what? That about does it when it comes to the file command. Now there are some additional options that you could use if you check its man page, but most of those are useful only in very specific situations. The main takeaway is that the file command reveals the file type of a file, and it could really come in handy. And there you go. In this video, we checked out the file command, and I hope it helped you out. If it did, then be sure to click the like button to let YouTube know, and also make sure that you subscribe to Learn Linux TV for the latest in Linux. There's all kinds of Linux-related shenanigans coming very soon to this channel, and you're going to love it. Anyway, in the meantime, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one.